Hello friends. Till now we have seen the theory of parasitology, we have seen intestinal nematodes and the tissue nematodes in YouTube video lectures. But that was the PowerPoint presentation. Today we are taking the practical which is of demonstration of various helmets. So today we are starting that practical. In this crisis we have to devise the new techniques by which we can start, we can cope up with our studies because it is said that when going gets tough, the tough gets going. So let's start today's session. So first we will see the adult ones. Uh, you will be given some specimen you are supposed to identify them. So first we start with cystone because in helminths we mainly deal with cystone, gematodes and nematodes. So cystone I am putting here giving the focus so you can see the morphology of cystone. You can see that it is a flat and tap like worm. It is a flat like a ribbon and it has many proglottids. This one is smaller while if you see the tinea then it would be a very long worm and its uh, proglottids would be expelled in the stool. It would be excited in the stool. So that is the flat worm. Now we are taking the second one and that is Hydrated cyst. See, hydrated cyst is basically dog type worm. The adult worm would be in the dog, and human being is an accidental intermediate host. So, in human, it would produce such cyst. You can see the uh, ball like thing. So, that capsular cyst would be formed into various organs. So liver being the most common organ, but it may occur in other organs like lung, spleen, kidney, even bone also. So that is cystic. Now the second which is known as trematodes or which are also known as flukes. So if I show you the uh, fluke, you can see, you can see the size and it is a leaf like its name is trematodes means it, it has a hole inside the body with it it, it would uh, attach to the our its host so in our so this is liver flu so it is an example of trematode and the third and the most developed worm is the nematodes which are cylindrical in nature so I am just showing you. You can see this is Ascaris lumbrico. So it is one of the largest intestinal nematodes. Uh, it may measure up to even 20 to 30 centimeter. And female worm is usually larger than the male worm. So this is Ascaris lumbrico. Other than this, there would be other nematodes like hookworm and the threadworm. If you want to see it, I'll have to zoom it because they are very smaller, around one centimeter of the size. So uh, I'm just showing you. Cool. Okay. Now you can see this. This is hookworm. The size is around one centimeter, and it would remain attached to the intestine. And that would suck the blood, one of the common cause of anemia. Go. Uh, this is thread worm. They are piece of thread like. Now it is settled. I am moving it. So now you can see that it is looking like the pieces of the thread. Clear? So they are much small, even smaller than the hook worm, less than one centimeter of the size. Go. So after adult worm. How to identify the eggs of the helminths? Uh, when you do the stool preparation, you will see the eggs of the helminth. So I am just showing you the common uh, helminthic eggs. Now you will notice here that some of the eggs would be yellowish brown in the color. And some are colorless. 
So the eggs which take the bile from the intestine would take give this color and so these eggs are known as bile stained egg while those eggs which look colorless are the non bile stained egg and this is the relative size of the amniotic egg for example this is the size of rpc so eggs of cystosome and other trimeters are much bigger while intestinal trimeters are slightly smaller than that now if we see one by one the common eggs which we encounter see this is tinea the egg of tinea here by looking at the morphology of egg you cannot discriminate between tinea solium or saginata both would live same in that it would be bile stain there would be radial striation which would be visible in the high power of the microscope if we see next egg this is the round the egg of ascaris lumbrico which is commonly seen in the uh, stool preparation uh, there is a rough boundary it is yellowish brown in the color and you can see in in a fertilized we will see ovum inside the next egg if we see which is again bile stain this is known as egg of trichuris trichura the unique feature of this egg is <coughs> you can see that there would be at the both the end there would be polar mucus plugs so that is a characteristic uh, barrel shape egg with these two mucus plug that is trichuris trichura next this is hookworm another very common intestinal helminth uh, one of the major cause of anemia in developing countries now you see this egg the size is around round worm only around 80 to uh, 60 micrometer but it is known by stem and you can see a clear shell and the segmented ovum and the last egg which we see is this this is egg of thread worm or the pin worm that is enterobius verbicularis the peculiar characteristic of this egg is its shape it is known as plano convex shape one side is relatively flat and one side is convex and this egg can be seen in the nicho because this egg are lay, laid on the perianal skin and in nicho it would stick to the cellophane tab and you can see that so with this we finish today's uh, demonstration of various parasitic worms as well as its microscopic structure hope you have in, enjoyed this presentation uh, you can uh, in a last note to this in this corona season uh, i remember the lines from the gujarati poet shri shekhada mabuwal emne emni premika ne sandarbh ma kitu che ke puchti nahi tara vina keva amara hal che puchti nahi tara vina keva amara hal che aansu ho che aankh ma ane haath ma rumal che आज बात आप थोड़ी पंक्ति साथ छूटछाट लाई कोरोना संदर्भ में कही तो पूछ म तारे लीधे के अमरा हाल है पूछ म तारे लीधे के अमरा हाल है सैनिटाइजर से हाथ में मोटा पर मस है सो कीप स्टडी इफ यू हेव एनी कॉमेंट और क्वेरीज प्लीज फील फ्री टू आस्क अस एनी टाइम थैंक यू वेरी मच